and I am pleased to be joined here in the studio by Anna Thompson, the Executive Director of the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center. Anna, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. We were just talking off camera. You have an amazing job. I do. It's a great gig. And I really do have a good gig. And it is a great gig with the opportunity to create a tremendous vision for the future. Tell me a little bit about your vision for the performing arts here at Notre Dame. Well, when I arrived in uh, 2007, uh, one of the things I thought was very important was to change us from a one-off for performances where the artists would come and spend one night performing and then leave the next day to a place where we did long extended residencies. We wanted to have the artists interact with our own students on campus and with the community. So the three, the three threads of our mission is to learn, connect, and relate. We want people to learn through our performances. We want them to, from whatever their point of entry is, they may know nothing about the art form. We want them to feel comfortable and come in and try something new, take the risk, and not feel like they have to be all-knowing about an art form, whether it's dance or music, theater, world music, jazz, Relatable. cinema, very accessible. The second is that we want them to connect personally with the artists, and we do that through extended residencies. The video you just saw was Diablo Dance Theater. We have um, had them three times in the last three years. We've commissioned a new work each of those three years, which they've had the world premiere of on our stage. And then we've had a week of residency with it where the students could interact with them and talk to them about the creative process with the artistic director. In that particular video, you saw our engineering students with their designs for a new set piece for Jacques Heim, the artistic director, where they could propose what they would like to see the company use for their next structural architectural piece. What an incredible way to integrate both the arts and the sciences and in two different things you think engineering and the arts don't necessarily go together but here at Notre Dame they certainly do. They do. We have a whole project which we call STEM to STEAM, science, technology, engineering and math to science, technology, engineering, arts and math and we've been working, um, another example is, of this is Third Coast Percussion which is our ensemble in residence. They have, uh, they will be here for the next six years. We've actually submitted an NSF grant with the engineering department. And they've been working on a piece where we have uh, students working for uh, service credit through the Center for Social Concerns, working with 350 fifth graders. And they've been designing and building instruments and learning about sound waves. And they've been building them on 3D printers and laser cutters. And they will be doing a mini concert this spring. And then in the fall, our engineering students have designed an instrument that would be performed with Third Coast Percussion on a piece composed by um, Glenn Kochi of the band Wilco, which I'm yes. sure our students know. Yes, I'm very familiar. And so Glenn no will be student, here. But I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah, people know <laughs> Wilco. So uh, Glenn will be here to perform with Third Coast Percussion, and our engineering students will see the the instrument they created as part of this percussion piece performed upon. So wow. it's really important to us that the students have that interaction with the artists and that also we bring artists in to work in the classroom, you know, whether it be a theater troupe or we bring a filmmaker in that's talking um, before or after a film screening, which we have an amazing cinema that's uh, digital, which a THX certified. We do 220 screenings a year. We have everything from art house cinema to national theater live. Uh, in high definition, which is you're seeing West End Broadway yes. shows or New York Broadway shows. We also have the Met in high definition. Where else can you see the Metropolitan Opera for $19? Oh my goodness, yeah. And the cost of living in South Bend is certainly a little bit different than it is, <laughs> it is. in New it's York a great City. Deal. That's extraordinary. And fifth grade has obviously gotten cooler since yeah, I was Way in fifth cooler. grade. Yeah. And my next question is one I feel like I could be I could answer myself after hearing you talk about the state of the arts at Notre Dame. It sounds like the state of the arts is pretty strong. It is amazing. And we have, you know, what we do is just the tip of the iceberg in the performing arts series and the cinema series that are put on by the DeBartle Performing Arts. But the bulk of what we do is our academic support. That's about 78% of what happens in the building. And that's about 750 to 800 performances a year in 10 months. So it's student recitals, it's faculty recitals, it's ensembles, a jazz ensemble, glee club, chorale, band, wind ensemble, all of those things, theater department, opera at Notre Dame's taking place uh, this, this week, um, Shakespeare at Notre Dame, they're wonderful productions that happen every August, and actors from the London stage, which happen in Washington Hall all year long. It's a very vibrant arts community, and we are so lucky to have all of that here at Notre Dame. Not only the students that come and sit in the, in the audience, but all the students that are actively participating in the arts, which is 
makes it really wonderful. And our marching band, I must add, because yes. I started out as a band director. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's an extraordinary thing to tout, that the arts at Notre Dame are really thriving. And I know that uh, this is the beginning of the 10th year for the DeBartolo yes. Center for the Performing Arts. In, in 2004 is when it opened. I was fortunate enough to attend one of the first classes, oh, a you? film class in, in, the, uh, in the Performing Arts Center. And I was so fortunate for that. I, I kind of want to re-enroll now. I, I'm wondering if I can get a mulligan on my four years here. I think here, you can. Right? I think we can get you in. It's completely <laughs> doable, right? And I am sure I can, I can find some scholarship that will support four more years to, to live out the uh, the dream of the Performing Arts Center. Well, thank you so much. And before we go, I want I want to do what I ask you. You talk about how important the arts are in, in the connection with the community between the Performing Arts Center and the South Bend community. What role do you, what, what is the conversation between the two? We're the bridge. When we were built, um, and that vision from Father Malloy was that we'd, we were at the end of the campus, there wasn't anything else. And we are that bridge to the community, and we are the bridge to campus, and we serve both, and that's very important for what we do, that we are part of the, the town and gown relationship, and uh, it makes what we do very important and very special. I hadn't thought about that being at the end of campus. What an, what an amazing metaphor. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, Anna. So nice to meet you, and good luck with your next 10 years. Thank you, Abby. All right. Thank you.